Hello and welcome to the PlexTrack mini demo series. Today we're going to be going over how to create a question inside of a questionnaire that can then be used for an assessment. So to start, we'll go from the dashboard or landing page over to assessments, select manage questions. And now from here, we can add a question to an existing questionnaire. We can edit a question or we can create a completely new questionnaire. And that's how we're going to start today. So we'll give it a relevant title and then we'll select from this list of frameworks inside of the dropdown. Now we don't have to use a framework. Your questionnaire may be based around a scoping document or an assessment on someone's incident response plan. But today we're going to use the CMMC framework. We select that and create questionnaire. So we've created our questionnaire and now you can see we have these empty fields that we need to fill to actually create the first question within the questionnaire. Now to start with, you need a title for your question. What we're going to base our title off of today because we're doing a framework based assessment is a random CMMC control that I picked. So I'm going to use the actual title of the control itself as the title for the question. And then for description, your description can be whatever your organization chooses. So you can ask an actual question here. You can put in a request for documentation. You can ask for a narrative answer. It really depends on what it is you require from the person taking the assessment. Again, going over to our governing document, you can see that there's a you know, discussion from the reference material that they built this control off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and input that. Um, if we want to get fancy, we can throw in uh, the actual title of the control that will be displayed under the description, as well as the title to the reference material. The next portion of building a question after description is answer types. We have a large list of different answer types that you can select. This includes uh, yes, no, pass, fail, multiple choice that you can define the uh, multiple possibilities within that answer type. But the real trick with answer types is, is that you can select multiple answer types. So when you have different frameworks like CMMC or PCI that are graded off of different scores, you're able to select those multiple variants. So for instance, with CMMC, we have both process and practice maturity, making it easy to form the questionnaire around what the framework requires. Once you've selected your different answer types, you can select input fields. Now here inside of building a question, we're defining the label of the input field. So you might give it a name uh, requesting the interviewee name, or you may ask for something more verbose, like the summarization of their password policy. It really depends on what your organization wants to capture on top of what the framework itself may already be seeking. These input fields can be used for both framework assessments and custom assessments, and they can take lots of information. You're not limited to one or two sentences. The fields will expand as the person taking the assessment adds data to it. So it's important to know that a question inside of a questionnaire is conceptually made of two parts. What will be presented during the assessment, which is all interactive information that can be added or input to the question. And then there's the other part after input fields. And this is all information that is going to be displayed in the report to the inside of a finding that the question is going to become. So when people are done taking their assessments in PlexTrack and they hit submit, it becomes a traditional PlexTrack re report with each question becoming a finding. And here we're going to define all the metadata that's going to occupy that finding. We're also going to be able to preload some information that'll make your final reporting document much easier uh, to present and take less time for your analysts to build. So starting with that metadata is category. The categories that are presented to you are based off of the framework that you selected when you first chose to build your questionnaire. So we've chosen, chosen CMMC. So we are seeing a list of all the categories within the CMMC framework. For example, this random training control that I chose out of CMMC is under the awareness and training category. So we've chosen our category and next you'll see the custom and write-ups database option. For today's demonstration, we're gonna stick with the custom option and we'll cover the write-ups database in a different video. After that, you have your default severity. 
The default severity just determines what the severity of the finding will be once your report is submitted. So your framework may have a determining factor that says this finding will always be medium, but your organization may have some internal metric that they use to decide the severity. After that, you have the default score. Uh, default scores can be an industry standard uh, like CVSS, or it can be, again, an internal way that your team gives any kind of scoring mechanism. That's really up to your organization. Uh, with tags, tags are extremely powerful inside of PlexTrack. You can choose existing tags. You can make tags on the fly. Uh, tags can also complement your custom Jinja template if that's part of your service agreement to provide one of those. It really depends on how you want to work with the data, structure the data, and filter the data. But tags are extremely powerful inside of the PlexTrack platform. So we've added our tags in some of this metadata, and now we can add more information. And it's important to remember that this is information that will be inside of a finding, inside of a report that is created when your assessment is submitted. So when you have a framework like CMMC, the doctrinal portion of that framework may have recommendations and examples built in already. So I'm going to go ahead and take that information and place it directly into here because for this assessment, our recommendations may stay static from engagement to engagement depending on the finding or depending on the type of engagement. If you want, you can write your own very distinct recommendations for your client uh, or for the environment that you're working in but it, it really is up to you and your organization where this information comes from and how simple or verbose you want it to be. So progressing logically through our question, we'll go from recommendations to references. References can be your own custom reference that you've written for this finding. It can be a reference to some industry standard or white paper that's out on the internet. You can also use the references that are provided uh, by the governing body that built your framework. That's what we're going to go with today. And we will add these references. They'll be present in the report. You can hyperlink these if you'd like to. It really just depends on what your wants are. So we've added all our information to our recommendations and references. And the last option that we have is we can add custom fields. Now, custom fields are truly custom. It just depends on what information you're asking for. So you can have a custom field that you want to display, for instance, maybe an abbreviation of the overall recommendation or an abbreviation of the description that's placed somewhere higher up in your document for C-level people to ingest, and you want to keep the more technical data in your recommendation section. Really, a custom field just provides a place that you can store information that's maybe outside of some of the PlexTrack standards, and you can pull something else from your resources and knowledge to provide to the client with regards to this specific finding. You also have the ability to add as many custom fields as you want. And if you do have the service agreement allowing for a custom Jinja template, we can reference these custom fields and pull this information into your final report wherever it is that you want to see that information displayed. So now we've finished our question. We've added all the information that we want to see in the finding once the assessment is submitted. We've also added all the information that will be displayed when the assessment is actually taken. We simply click create and you'll see that our question was added over here to our full question list. You can add as many questions as you want and if you ever need to, you can always come back in and edit a questionnaire to account for any changes to a framework or your own internal processes. So now we'll take some time to show you what the question actually looks like inside of an assessment. So I've navigated to our manage questionnaires portion. We have a large number of questionnaires in this instance. So I'm going to filter for our assessment that we built today and I'm going to begin the assessment. I'm going to go ahead and filter for Acme Inc. And the great thing about the assessments portion of PlexTrack is you can reuse an assessment for different clients if you're doing the same framework assessment over and over again. If you have multiple clients that need a CMMC assessment, you can reuse that assessment for each client. So I'm going to begin the assessment. Here's our question here. You can see the information that we added in the description section. We have our process and practices options. We can select answers for this. Interviewee names. We also have the password policy. There isn't one. 
Um, and then you can add line after line of text in these boxes and they'll expand appropriately. There's also a notes and comments section in case your assessor has anything that they wanna add from the assessment that's not captured inside this area over here. You also have the ability to add attachments. So if you require your client that you're doing an assessment for to give you proof of their, you know, their documentation and policies, you can drop that here and it will be moved to the report. You can select that the question is completed and you can see that status change here. And as you complete more questions, you can see this status bar across the top. If you had 500 questions, you'd be able to filter through all the questions because it may take you weeks to go through an assessment and we like to make it easy to navigate. So now we have all three of our questions answered. We're gonna go ahead and submit. And this will turn into a standard PlexTrack report that we've all come to know and love. And we can go ahead and look inside of our findings. Here's our finding for the question that we created today. We'll click on that. And here's all of the information that was populated while the assessment was taken, but there's also information that was populated. Here's our custom field that we built in. Here's our input fields that we added, metadata like category scores, recommendations, references, it's all there. It can be exported in your report at the end via your Jinja template if that's in your service agreement. And it can also be displayed in this option if you create a portal function and give analyst roles to your clients who can come in and view this information, but they won't be able to edit anything after the fact. Mm -hmm.